नमस्कार इन द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज ऑन मैकेनिकल वेंटिलेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नॉन इन्वेजिव वेंटिलेशन नॉन इन्वेजिव वेंटिलेशन इज द यूज ऑफ द सेम वेंटिलेटर दैट यू हैव सीन द सी वी टू हंड्रेड बट इट इज यूज नॉट अलॉन्ग विद एन एंडोट्रिकल ट्यूब बट विद अ फेस मास्क एंड दिस फेस मास्क फिट्स टाइटली so before i tell you about non invasive ventilation let me tell you how to set up the ventilator you can see that there is an air there is a oxygen supply coming to the ventilator there is the electrical supply of the control box or the main ventilator and there is electrical supply of the compressor you have to connect all these things and switch them on once you have switched them on then you switch on the control box with this button here the moment you switch it on you will see these default settings the blue boxes you can see are the default settings and you can see that in the middle of the screen it says standby mode now what i have done is i have connected the circuit you can see that in the circuit there is a filter at the patient end and there is a uh, filter at the end where the air goes out ensuring that the patient and the air that comes out from the patient are both sterilized now for non invasive ventilation we have to see how and in what place non invasive ventilation can be used when we have patients coming with covid 19 pneumonia patients who do not maintain their oxygen saturation on the non rebreather mask with 15 liters per minute of oxygen and or they do not maintain on the high flow nasal cannula with an fio2 varying from 60 to 100% then such patients may be given a trial of non invasive ventilation for non invasive ventilation the machine like i told you has to be set after that you have to choose the appropriate mode here you can see the mode shown is volume control i am going to change that to pressure support so you will see psv come up and once you see psv then you have to select it by pressing this button moment you select psv you can see it shows you the pressure support level the t inspiration it shows you here is the default t inspiration beyond which the machine will cycle off this is a safety feature this is not inspiratory time in pressure support there is no inspiratory time this is of course the apnea respiratory rate which is set at 16 per minute that is good enough for us and then you can see that you can make a peep setting you can have a pressure limit setting and you can set the trigger so the trigger is generally set at 1 or 2 so as to make it very easy for the patient to trigger the ventilator now before i demonstrate uh, how the machine is to be attached let me tell you about the mask this is a face mask of medium size which is to be used along with the invasive ventilator remember these masks come in two types one type of mask is to be used with a single limb circuit on the ventilator this is used for the dedicated non invasive ventilators which are called bipaps for the invasive ventilator there should be a mask which does not have a valve anywhere please remember the air that goes in to the patient also comes out from this mask and it goes through the expiratory limb of the circuit to the filter and then out so this is the mask and i can show you that this mask the valve is usually in this place that valve is not there in this mask so there should be no valve in the face mask you can see that it's a soft um, material that fits snugly on the face then there is this strap and there are these sponge pads to make it comfortable to wear now when we fit the mask it is important you know the mask is claustrophobic kay tari aple chehra varte thevun band kele sarkha vatta tar te lavta na patient la aplyala explain karay lagta ki mi mask hatani dharnare adhi i am going to hold the mask with the hand and i am going to keep it comfortable for you okay so that's how you hold the mask so initially don't tighten the straps hold the mask with the hand that means you need an assistant hmm? so one person holds the mask in place and then you can make the settings on the ventilator now once the mask is placed 
yeah this upper straps tighten here and these lower straps tighten behind okay i'm going to show it to you again when we start the ventilator okay so you've got the mask ready now now what you're going to do is with the test lung in place you're going to make the settings for pressure support so here you can see that pressure support is set at 10 and peep is set at 5 hmm? when there is a pressure support of 10 the total pressure that builds up in the machine is 10 plus 5 hmm? now when we are starting we don't want a pressure support of 10 because that will make it more difficult for the person to breathe so we will start with the pressure support of 5 so i select it that box becomes white then i can use this knob if i turn it anti clockwise the pressure support reduces i've got 5 there and now i select 5 so pressure support 5 peep 5 total inspiratory pressure is 10 okay so here when we talk about the settings on non invasive ventilation we'll say that total inspiratory pressure is 10 and peep is 5 and the pressure support level is 5 i hope you have understood this then of course you need to make an fio2 setting and the fio2 setting when you start off may be kept on the higher side whatever fio fio2 setting you had previous to this on the hfnc that same fio2 setting can be used so usually we will choose around 60% 60 to 100% Okay, so now I have connected the ventilator. Now I am going to switch from the standby mode to the start mode. Before that, I just want to show you that in the settings, in the controls, in the setup, there is a setting for leak compensation. So please remember since the mask is not tight some amount of air is going to leak so you can keep leak compensation at maximum and you can keep it at 20. i select it that's done and then i close off the screen and then now i'm going to start okay now it has started now pressure support is active now please remember in pressure support the ventilator will not del deliver breaths unless there is some triggering the low tidal volume the low rr the low minute ventilation alarms will go off because the amount of pressure I have set is low and so I may need to adjust my alarm limits. So I am just going to keep it down, I am going to go to standby again and I am going to adjust the alarm limits. Now on non-invasive ventilation, the alarm limits can be kept at a minimum because this patient is conscious and he will be able to tell you about what is happening to him. So high limit respiratory rate 34 is okay, low limit is this is okay. Now I want to set the minute volume alarm. So here I have set it at high limit 9 and low limit 4. Now here what is likely to happen is since the leak is there the machine may not be able to judge it properly. So I am going to disable the low limit alarm. The high limit alarm will not have any significance. Please remember this is only for pressure support. You are not going to do this for any other mode. So now I am going to start the ventilation and for starting the ventilation I am going to switch the waveforms to wave pressure and number. Yes. 
and now I am going to start the ventilator by pressing the start button and I am going to confirm it. Okay, you can see on the test lung, I am now beginning to see the parameters. Please remember with a pressure support of 5, I am going to generate less tidal volume only. So, I am not very worried about that. Once I have made these settings, then the next thing I have to do is to set the, tie the mask properly. If I do not put it on standby, it is going to give the alarm constantly. Okay. So, now I have told you about how the mask is applied. So, mask is placed tightly on the face. The strap is taken from behind. It is placed like this and then using these two, you have to tighten both simultaneously. And then once you take it simultaneously, you tighten it. Once that is done, then the lower straps need to be fixed. Usually you will have an assistant required for this. Satyajit, can you come here? Kachatna Ghalshir. Okay, give that to me. Put this from this side. You see why you need a assistant is because someone needs to hold the mask in place and the other person needs to tighten the strap. And this of course needs to be explained to the patient as well. And now you see the mask is fitted tightly but not very tightly and it is quite comfortable. Most people feel claustrophobic at this point. So you need to reassure them and hold the mask with your hand. Now you are going to see that I am going to attach the ventilator. and. I am going to so the air is coming in now Okay, so I hope you have understood how the mask is attached, how the ventilator is set for non-invasive. Now once you start the ventilator on 5 and 5, if the patient says that I am getting less air, then you can increase the uh, pressure support of 5 to 10. You can look at the blood gas half an hour later. If you find that the PCO2 is going up, you can increase the pressure support. You can then increase the backup rate which is set, you can increase it to 20 if you require. But it is always better in pressure support, non-invasive to keep the set rate on the lower side. The other adjustments that you can make is to the positive end expiratory pressure, especially if a patient has got chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or asthma, then slightly higher PEEP levels may be required. So this is about how you use non-invasive ventilation. Please remember in the setting of COVID-19, non-invasive ventilation can produce aerosols and should be used only sparingly. In case you need to require, you, ne you need to use it, it should be used as a bridge to invasive therapy. Preferably you would be using HFNC or invasive ventilation. But of course, in selected circumstances, non-invasive ventilation has a role to play. Thank you.